Hello friends, welcome back to another casual day with Miss M. This video is for, well, it could be for other speech therapists to give you some ideas on what uh, what to do with imitation in speech therapy or what to do with learning actions in speech therapy. This could also be for moms and dads who uh, want to have some ideas of what you could be doing at home with your little ones to work on um, following directions and again, imitation. Um, action words. And this video could also be for your little ones right now because what we're doing today is uh, yoga. We're going to have a little yoga session. Now, the reason I wanted to do this was one, to kind of show you um, sometimes how easy it can be to work with what you've got. Because when we're talking about yoga, uh, what do we need to do a yoga pose? Our body, right? So, you can talk about body parts, you know, maybe if we're doing um, the table pose, you know, we're using our feet. I don't know if you can see this. We're using our feet. We're using our hands. Uh, you know, we're laying on our back first, things like that to talk about body parts. Then you could be imitating actions. You know, I tell my, my little friend, do this, and then they try and do it as best they can. Um, so... These are really great cards, by the way. These are by Speech Room News. You can find these on Teachers Pay Teachers if you want to go check her store out. She's got a lot of really cute things, and I just love these little um, yoga cards that she has because they have come through for me in speech therapy. Um, oh, yeah. Can we get our little ones to do this one? The bridge? Maybe we'll try. Okay. <laughs> So the way I like to start this off, if we're doing it, I like to make it like my own little yoga studio because it's really a fun way to also incorporate some of the mindfulness stuff that I've talked a lot about with other speech pathologists, shout out Rachel. Um, but I like to do maybe a little bit of a belly breath. So we're going to start by doing uh, two belly breaths. Now, belly breaths are really great also if you're trying to regulate some emotions. So keep that in mind. Keep this little strategy in mind. But a belly breath is going to start out. So what we're going to do is we're going to count. So I'll count or I'll show you first. So I'm going to count to four. I'm going to take in a deep breath through my belly and then I'm going to hold it for four more seconds, maybe three seconds <laughs> for my little ones. Sometimes we just do three. Maybe they're really fast three seconds, but it's just the idea of holding it. And then we're going to exhale it and we're going to do it and we call it an audible exhale. So you can hear my voice come through when I exhale. So I'm going to sit up really straight. I am crisscross applesauce. We could put our legs out in front of us if we wanted to. Um, my legs tend to fall asleep if, if I'm in crisscross applesauce too long. So we're not going to stay here too long because then we're going to do our yoga. Okay, you ready? So we're going to do our four seconds. So we're going to go one. Ah. I'm pushing all that air out. <laughs> all right, you ready? We're gonna do one more. Oh, my feet are falling asleep. Hold on, we'll crisscross. Okay, ready? Oh, sometimes it's really hard to push all the air out, but it feels so good now. I feel so relaxed. Okay, so we're gonna do we're gonna do um, three yoga poses just to get us started. But then, wherever you are, feel free to keep this activity going. Okay. So what we're gonna do is now I use these cards like this. I show my student the cards. Sometimes I take them off the ring, we shuffle them up and we turn them over to make it a little bit fun to, to get that surprise factor in. Um, and then sometimes they get to pick which one, hand it to me and I'll do it. And then they do it kind of to give a little bit of that control over. All right. So let's find one that you guys can see on the camera. That's, that's the, oh, let's do this one. All right. We're going to do the frog. So the frog means we are going to put our feet on the floor and our hands on the floor and our legs kind of go out. So ready friends, you're going to do it with me. You're going to go like this. Let's do the frog. 
And what does a frog say when we do this? We're gonna do the frog, and maybe you'll wanna count. We'll count to five for our poses. So we'll go one, two, three, four, five. And we can say ribbit. Maybe you wanna hop around like a frog real quick. <laughs> All right, good job. All right, that was one. Now, ooh, okay. We're gonna do the lion. Can you see that little boy doing the lion? So lion means our knees are on the floor and our hands are on the floor. Okay, and we're gonna go like this. So first, put your knees on the floor and I'll wait a little bit longer on this one. Knees on the floor and then you're gonna sit on your feet. Oh, hey! And then we're gonna put our arms on the floor. Our hands can go down like this to make it easier. Let's count to five. One, two, three, four, five. All done. You wanna roar like a lion? Roar! You could crawl around like a lion too. All right, one more. You ready? We're gonna do the candle, the candle. So the candle, look at our knees go back on the floor. Okay, but we're gonna keep our back straight and our hands are gonna go in front of our chest and make a triangle or sometimes we could call them praying hands, right? However you wanna say it. Okay, so let's put our knees on the floor. You ready? We're gonna put our knees on the floor. You can't see my face yet. Are your knees on the floor? Then you're gonna sit back on your feet. Good job. Okay, back straight. And we bend our elbows and clap our hands one time. Let's count to five. One, two, three, four, five. And then blow your candle out. Good job. All right, friends. You did so good. So moms and dads, speech therapists, um, teachers, keep this fun going. Again, you can find these cards over at Speech Room News on Teachers Pay Teachers too for you speech therapists that want to get these for your own. Um, your own speech therapy sessions, but I definitely recommend, again, using what you have. Um, there are a lot of really good kid-friendly yoga uh uh, videos on YouTube as well if you want to research those. I've seen a lot going around. They're awesome and it's just a good way to work again on those body parts. Um, imitation, following directions, right? Do this um, and then maybe giving them a chance to, to be the one that decides what the pose is and you imitate them. All right friends, I am signing off for today. I will see you next time. Thank you for doing some yoga with me and helping me, you know, get in the zone. <laughs> All right. Talk to you next time. Bye.